Good morning, fellas. How are we doing? What's up? What's up? Let's go ahead and check this honey tree to kick things off for the day. No shiny cherry, but close call. Uh, I'm going to be shiny hunting today as per usual at 35,697 encounters dry. Maybe pop some charms. I've got dinner status for around eight more days. We're going to try to get ourselves a nice little rare shiny to break the streak. Hopefully before Christmas. It's currently December 7th. As I'm recording this, I might even start making some progress towards preparing for the Christmas event. I know that I want to prepare myself, possibly possibly prepare myself like a Garchomp or a Haxorus. I think last year was the first year, if I'm not mistaken, they implemented you using your own Pokemon. To some extent, you would like gain access to them in the holiday event, the Christmas event. So I might have to build myself a Haxorus or Garchomp. I remember those being, I remember those being very good. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. I'll see if I can recall correctly. We'll check what happened last year and we'll move on. So good morning, good morning, guys. How are we doing? Good luck to all shunters today. Let's see what happens. Is it a good idea to buy up all of a certain vanity to increase the price? So that's called a buyout, right? Um, it's called a market buyout. Uh, I don't know if you just mean like you want to just make an investment in general, but what you're kind of explaining is a market buyout. Market buyouts can kind of work and can kind of slowly up the price of something but you have to know the risk and have to know how long term that is market buyouts do not work in the sense where if you know if uh, if uh koban is 20k right and you buy them all out and you list them for 100k they're not going to stay at that price right what happens is you buy out all kobans and then people are going to see that they're all gone and relist them and they're going to relist for maybe like 20k 22k and what market buyouts can slowly raise the price over time is sort of the meme they can slowly raise the price over time so if you buy out all kobans for 20k let's say people start relisting let's say you don't relist or you relist a couple a very few amount to keep the supply like low on the market you're, just, you're trying to just investing right um markets buyouts like almost never permanently change the cost of an item they almost never make a huge jump in the cost they always they always up it by like two to five k a very very small amount it's hard to tell if market buyouts even do anything or if it's just natural um progression of, of an item getting more expensive and more rare over time um market buyouts are really fucking risky really silly you need, you need an insane amount of upstart capital a disgusting amount hundreds of millions usually or at least like 50 million to dump into it and then it's really really risky um usually yeah it's i don't recommend market buyouts i recommend just making good investments like i, I would never recommend market buyouts they're just way too silly and way too risky i've never done one um yeah just make good investments would be my meme and i have a ton of videos on my on my channel talking about investments and such anniversary chest almost 50k now yeah anniversary chest i was talking about recently man it's super cool to see it's really good for me personally um they've taken a huge rise because there might not be an 11th anniversary event. And if there's not an 11th anniversary event, that means the 10th anniversary event's the only one so far. Maybe there'll be a 12th one or whatever, right? But it, it's kind of crazy if, if this weird thing happens with the 11th anniversary event. Even if it didn't, the fact that, the fact that these are, I don't know, it's so cool to me. I know that I would, if I if I wasn't playing at the time and I quit and I came back and I saw this, I'm like, that's so cool. Like this was the first ever Pokemon anniversary event, the 10th one. Like, these have to be an incredible investment. Like, it's so impactful. It's so interesting. Um, I feel like a lot of the items were pretty good. A lot of the vanities were pretty good. The only bad vanity, or I shouldn't say bad. I like a lot of the vanities from the anniversary, but I think a lot of them are really, really good. The Koban and stuff like that. Um, one of the only ones you could argue is, like, quote-unquote bad because the price, the price on it fucking tanked was the Psychic Training Helmet. But it's hard to tell if, like, people just don't like it. Or if it just like there was a higher supply than people expected. Um, the second trading helmet is really cheap for an ultra rare event item. The fact that the thing is 1.2 mil for an ultra rare fucking item is pretty crazy to me. It's pretty crazy how cheap the second training helmet is, man. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, it's pretty nuts. I almost want to buy. You know what? <laughs> this might be stupid. I'm going to buy another one just to sit on. I don't mind spending 1.2 mil on that. There's no way it ever gets cheaper. And I feel like over time, I can see that becoming a pretty interesting vanity. So I'll pick one up right now on an impromptu whim. Why not? It's kind of criminally underreported on Danny. Uh, speaking of goodie bags, like your reds, is there a website that shows all possible pulled pulls from sealed containers? I wish we were better about this. I wish like the community and myself was better about like 
compiling that information each event each event it's different each event it's different but i would love to yeah time to invest all my money into like strategic gambling to get the data yeah true and real i think getting better data and getting it broken down on i need some like excel spreadsheet homies i'm terrible at making spreadsheets um to like collect data on that stuff would be like legit legit would be super interesting but it'd be a pain to do there's a lot of different items that can drop and stuff all right, Alpha Arcanine check, fellas. Let's see if we can get ourselves a, uh, a quick little Shalfa, just a casual Shalfa to start the day. Not quite. I'm still gonna go for the catch, though. It's male, which is good. Well, we caught our Arcanine with a random Pokeball. Uh, dude, I, Alphas are so weird. I actually, they're so strange. I was trying to throw a Pokeball to lower the stats and it just caught. What a weird... Alphas are so weird. And the stats were not that good. They're actually pretty bad. I mean, throwing HP is nice, but... Was that worth my time? Probably not. Dude, almost every time I catch an alpha, I regret it. I regret taking the time. I probably should have just stayed in, in Sinnoh and done my shunting. Like, I, I actually, I, I don't know. Alphas are annoying to me. Um, they're almost never worth the Pokeon for me personally. I feel like if you're like a mid-game player, it probably is worth it. But if you're like, like why, would I, why would I do that when I could just flip? Like, I probably made like 40 to 50k off that when I could have just like done one shiny flip and that and like two shiny flips of time to make like one mil um yeah just like super super not worth um unfortunate but that's okay back to shunting we go we're gonna detilt and go run, run back and forth in grass yeah, someone asked what's the best strat for dratini shunting in pokemon it's by far times five hordes at uh dragon spiral tower you'll you should end up it's 80 percent chance for times five hordes of magic 20 percent chance for times five hordes of dratini you should end up with around four shiny magic carps. i know it sounds stupid and ridiculous it kind of is four shiny carps on the way to your one shiny dratini um so it's around 30 hours per per shiny on average. You can actually do it in less of, if you with the, the Lepa spots, so you need Lepas. Uh, so you should be getting around 1,200 encounters per hour for sure. So let's do 30K divided by 1,200 if you play decently efficiently. Uh, so 25 hours per shiny, that times five. It's gonna take five shunts on average to get one Dratini. So it ends up being around 125 encounter, 125 hours, sorry. 125 hours for one shiny Dratini. That's pretty good in my opinion. That's like way easier than it used to be. It used to be like 2K hours um like 1500 for like fishing it that is yeah 125 for a shiny Trini is very very good nowadays um a pretty cool shun it's a tough it's a weird one because getting duplicate shinies just doesn't feel good at all so getting having having to push through four magic carps kind of sucks same with larvitar you have to do the same thing like push through four onyxes on average um you could get more could get less just hope for the best uh good luck to whoever is shunting Dratini there oh there's a catch event oh shit in 15 minutes canto route 17 jump around well i want to check this out actually that's actually kind of fucking hype i might do that i miss catch events i've had a lot of fun with them recently um that's really hype let's check it out fellas okay someone asked about a flipping guide i do have a really basic flipping guide called like pokemon beginner's guide to flipping dittos since i think dittos are a really good thing to like start to learn how to flip like sticking to dittos um but i do have some other stuff because flipping is just such a large thing it's it's really hard to it's kind of ridiculous or impossible to have a beginner's guide to flipping entirely in pokemon i think it's just too wide of a range of skills and too, it's just too vast of a subject um so i have the beginner's guide to flipping dittos which is more of a succinct you know thing that will help you get into it and break into it and learn and then i also have a couple different videos this is my favorite i really liked these videos um I did challenges of how much money can I make in 10 minutes of flipping in Pokemon. So I did a bunch of these like challenges where I would set a time limit and um, allow myself, yeah, to be, actually see how much Pokemon I can make in one hour or 10 minutes or whatever. Uh, how much, like I did this video, um, how much money can I make flipping alpha Pokemon for 10 minutes? Like I flipped only alphas for 10 minutes. Um, flipping Pokemon for profit to prepare for event season. Like I, so I did a bunch of, um, yeah, little like time-based flipping videos that just show in real time how I flip and what it looks like and how much profit I made. I made like, I'm pretty sure like I usually make like around 400 to 600k Pokien per hour consistently while flipping. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, flipping is definitely like the best money-making method in pretty much any MMO or any game with a market ever just due to the time put in versus the, t the money out. It's just always, always good. Um, yeah. Good question. So there is a uh, EV catching event happening in around 12 minutes, which is super, super cool. The gift, the prize is a gift EV perfect IV six times 31. So I might do this. It'd be kind of fun. Um, the main Pokemon we'd be catching would be EV and like Raticate. Okay. What's the, the nature bonuses are brave and hasty. Pretty interesting. I might try to do this event. It might be kind of fun, honestly. I think I'm 
think I'm down to do this for fun. Like, the prize isn't that good. It's not, like, super worth it. But I don't know. It's a way for me to, like, honestly, like, it just sounds fun. It's a way for me to single encounter hunt while also having that chance at an overarching prize. Might catch some cool EVs. It's a fun event. This will be a four fun event for sure for me. The prize, like, literally isn't even that good for me. I really don't care about having a five times 31 or six times 31 EV. I, I don't really need it for anything. Um, if anything, maybe I'd make a perfect Flareon for Enu, which is hilarious how bad it is. Uh, well, it actually isn't a Vaporeon in Enu right now. UU. Um, what one would I get for... What evolution would I really care about for Enu? Like, Espeon's no longer there. Um, I could get a Glaceon. Like, I, imagine I win the catch event. And, yeah, I turn it into, like, a Leafeon and everybody's pissed. Because they want, like, a 6 times 31 like, Jolteon or Vaporeon. Like, an Umbreon. Like, a good evolution. They're kind of base. Actually, now I want to win just to... Uh, just to do that that's funny that reverse psychology is genius and you don't want to win so you can win yeah that's definitely what it is true and real wait that actually sounds fucking hilarious aben you said glaceon full defense investment glaceon glaceon full defense investment plus assault vest dude assault vest glaceon wait that sounds so funny you just go like hyper bulk glaceon it'd be terrible because it's like mono ice type like it's the same it's like avalug like the same issue Avalug has, but I don't know, man. Maybe it could, if you're like bold, that might be what I'd go. I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm, I would be, dude, if I won this, I would be thrilled to make a terrible competitive EV out of the perfect EV. That's genius. Um, six times 31, bold natured, 2v2 HP, 2v2 defense, Glaceon with Assault Fest. That sounds wicked fun, dude. I need to make more hilarious Assault Fest mons. I have not played much Pokemon PvP at all since Assault Vest has been added. I have experimented so little with Assault Vest Pokemon, man. I really would love to, that's a, such a fun item. I would love to get into that. Now, we've got three minutes until the start of the catching event. A quick little catch event strategy for those who don't do them very often or don't know. You can actually pre-encounter the like rare mon for the event. So for example, this event is like EV gives plus seven species bonus, but is obviously the most difficult mon to find here, like a 5% chance. So you can pre-encounter an EV Ball swipe it, spore it, and like prep the encounter. Cheater, he's cheating. No, no, this is allowed. So you get the one free like rare catch at the beginning if you prep it. And then you can like, if you wait until the event starts and then you catch it, that like it, it factors in the time rate. So it's a, it's a really cool way to like prep one encounter. It's a cool little, uh, cool little tip. With one minute before the event, we get ourselves a nice EV. It's just that easy, fellas. It's just that easy. Uh, I'm going to... Should I false? Is it gonna have take that? I might have takedown. This might fuck it up, but <laughs> it's worth the risk. Let's see how this plays out. Watch it take down and kill itself, so I'm not prepped for the event, and then I just have to free ball it. Okay, Ponyta dies barely through. Please don't take down. Mimic. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, so all the Pokemon we can catch this event are Eevee, Raticate, Doduo, Ponyta, and Grimer. Um Let me spore and then switch here. Uh, Eevee's plus seven species bonus, Raticate's plus three, Doduo's zero, Ponyta zero, Grimer's minus three. Nature bonuses are plus three Brave, plus three Hasty. If you aren't familiar with how catch events work, um, I have a video called Pokemon Catch Events Explained that goes over a lot of the details. The general premise is you want to catch the best Pokemon possible with the best IVs, nature, and all the bonus the species and, and bonuses and stuff like that. So it is now 1 p.m. The catch event should be started, but it's always good to check in global chat. Uh, it says starts in 15 minutes. Let's see if they've said it. I think they've probably said it started officially. I think this probably is what that means. So it's officially started. I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw a good Pokeball here. What should I throw here? I don't even know at this point. Probably just like Ultra is fine. Just get the first EV catch rolling. The EVs know double edge. Yeah, watch out, guys. The EVs know. I know they know some sort of damage removes. Jolly Nature EV. Not good, though. That's okay. Good catch. Hey, Pat, here's your new streamer schedule. I made it for you. Misinformation Monday, Conspiracy Theory Tuesday, D's Nuts Wednesday, and Backseat Thursdays. From yours truly, the Pat Tinfoil Hat Enthusiast. Thank you so much for putting the time into that, Hector. I really, really appreciate that. Um, hilariously, out of those four days, Backseat Thursday sounds the worst to me. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> today's Thursday. Hopefully, we can avoid that, but I appreciate the fucking love, dude. So with catch events, there's a lot of different strategies you, you can employ for sure. I People brought up uh, Quick Ball. I think if there was a catch event that I really cared about, like if the prize was really good, I would actually be okay with Quick Balling and essentially making me lose money throughout the event or even like, I guess, net neutral maybe if I catch some good Pokemon. 
Um, quick balls can be really good for catch events, but they destroy the profit, which is like, I think a huge reason why catch events are so good is the ability to like make Pokeyen passively while also working towards an overarching prize. Um, and if you quick ball, you destroy that. Now, if there was a really good prize, like a really cool shiny that I really cared about, that would be awesome. Um, but the fact that this is just a six times 31 EV that I, you know, I don't really care about. It's like one mil Pokeyen, whatever, right? Not a shiny, you know, whatever, right? Um, I, I have I have no interest in quick balling this event for sure. But if there was an event with a shiny shuckle prize or something like that, I, I might consider quick balling or probably would or probably should, you know, for sure. Speaking of good catches, two times 31 Grimer. That's pretty crazy. Not good for the event at all, but good pokey and I'll definitely take it. Pog, pog, pog. Fuck, speaking of great catches. Uh, are there any evolutions in NU? Yes, Flareon, Glaceon, Leafeon, and then Eevee, I guess if you count that, but those, those are the only three. I think it's Flareon, Glaceon, Leafeon. Let's check. Flareon, Glaceon, Leafeon. Umbreon's UU, right? Umbreon's UU, Espeon's OU. Uh, Jelteon and Vaporeon are both UU at the moment. Yeah, I think it's the meme. So yeah, uh, there's three that are, but none of them are, none of them are good. Like none of the evolutions in NU are good. Uh, let's, let's check. I'm really curious. That's a good question. Let's check. Um, Leafeon's currently at 0.5% usage at a 29% win rate. Um, Glaceon's probably the best hilariously because Glaceon can actually work in like Vanillix teams. Um, 53% win rate over 15 games. Yeah, Glaceon's probably the best with Vanillix usage. Um, with Vanillix is like, Vanillix is a good NU Pokemon. I really like Vanillix. It comes on and off and like comes in and out. I really like Snow Warning plus Choice Specs or Choice Starf Blizzard spamming Vanillix. This Pokemon's a demon. Very underrated. I, that Pokemon's actually crazy. You can like solo win some games with, um, Vanillix and NU. It's actually like so powerful. All right. Second Eevee catch, fellas. Let's see how it comes out. Uh, 102. It's actually like not horrible. I mean, it's it's not good, but 102 plus seven. It's like a 109. But yeah, nothing crazy. I don't know. That's kind of. It could be worse. Could be worse. Are all opponents Pokemon max 31 IVs in the story mode? I think that they're all 15. Oh, I don't know. No, 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 no. I don't know. Maybe they are all max. I think. I think the meme is. I think. Um. I don't know about all trainers. I think Elite Four. I think Elite Four trainers are all 31s i think that's the case um but they're not ev trained i think that's i think they're all all 31 ivs but i think they're not ev trained which is kind of the the balancing thing which is super super good um if i'm not mistaken i think that's i think that's correct someone got a shiny grimer in this event was it in global chat that's pretty cool yeah it seems like it adamant grimer etch for me congratulations to him i dude, shiny grimer is a pretty cool shiny the scroll way up fresh sir earl i like the 31 attack nice dude lonely Good stats, good nature. Congratulations to him. It's always cool to get a shiny during a catch event. That's a pretty unique shiny, and I'll always remember that. That's my first EV I've seen die from takedown. That's okay. I was I was expecting that. Um, I, I don't mind. I'd rather fall swipe first and then spore after and just have like the faster encounters and risk that happening. But you know what are you what are you gonna do? I, I made that choice for sure. I'm okay with that. I mean, when, in most catch events, I'm fine with like fall swipe plus spore and like risking the the self KOing move. I totally forgot Slugma was even here. That's actually... I thought someone was trolling earlier when they said so many Slugmas. That's kind of a good mean. Slugma nuts. Nice, guys. Dude, another... I've had like five Eevee encounters in the first 24 minutes. I feel like that feels pretty good. It's not that crazy lucky, but it's, it's quite good, I would say. It's definitely like decent to above average luck, probably. Another Eevee caught... Brave Nature is good. That's plus three. Not really worth... But it's plus 10. This is a 125 Eevee, which is, I mean, you know, not terrible. Total store 125 EV. And back to back EV encounter is okay. We're gonna reach 36k encounters today as well, which is really exciting. Yeah, this next EV is female, which is nice. Female EVs are much rarer. It's like 12.5% chance to encounter a female EV versus uh 87.5 for, for male EVs. Okay, Swift not takedown, thankfully. Another rigged catch event for the streamer. True. Apatrowski, do you reset your encounters once you find a shiny? Yes. That's the way that I do my encounters. Some people do them per like species they're specifically hunting but for me like i don't know that kind of defeats the purpose of keeping track of the number like the number is just supposed to be like your total shiny rate like dry or wet or whatever you want to call it right um yeah i, I just reset whenever i get any shiny pokemon not i'm also just hunt, switch around my quote-unquote species i'm hunting all the time like, I'm, not, I'm not like i'm not hyper specific about what i'm care about getting because there's so many shinies that i do want that uh, it, they, they'll happen over a long period of time like very very different ones you know so yeah i just i just Keep an encounter up until I get a shiny, then I reset it to zero whenever I get any shiny. 
Oh, one times 31 EV. I'll take it. 2,000 hours, 22 shinies, one egg, and four singles. That's really good. That's like... I would call you like one of the like most respectable shunters in the game at that point, I see. Like, if you have 2,000 hours... 22 OT shinies, one egg, four singles. That's like, that's very, 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 very good, man. Seriously. That's a very, very impressive shiny resume. 172 IV in global chat. That is really fucking high. Um, I wonder, this is a, this is a crazy ponyta. It makes sense. Like EV catch events definitely draw on a lot of people and it's a pretty cool spot. A lot of people have access to it. It's a pretty popular event but even so one even like considering how popular an event like this might be um 172 is still ridiculous that's still really 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 high um i don't see it but i'll, have to, I'll try to keep an eye out and it's still like that's stupid like that'll that'll win if someone actually legitimately caught a 172 like there's no way that won't that will that will win the event that'll be a yeah i feel like that'll be a uh that'll be the, the number that'll be played for yeah that'll be the winner <laughs> it's that simple um we'll see if we can get fourth place maybe for those who don't play catch events often or don't know the numbers i have a general guideline that i go by in terms of like what you might want to submit or what scores you want to look for for certain placements so i would say fourth place is usually around 18 to 20 overall score um i've seen lower recent like 14 to 16 which is crazy i would say like 18 to 20 is the average fourth place winner though uh, maybe 16 to 18 16 to 20 something like that third place is generally depending on the catch event depending on the rate depends on a lot of things the popularity of the event etc but generally i'd say third place is like 164 to 166 and then i would say second place is generally 166 to 168 and i'd say first place is generally like 168 to 172 maybe a little bit of a range on that one you can give or take one or two numbers in between there for sure so we got a shiny Rattata as well. Okay, two shinies in one catch event is pretty nuts. Uh, congrats to those uh, hunters, dude. Around 30 minutes left in the event. We'll see if any more craziness, any more shinies can pop up, dude. Another Eevee encountered and caught. Getting very lucky on these so far this event. No IVs worth, you know, talking about, but still a lot of EVs I've seen. How many have I seen actually? Let me check. I've seen eight EVs within the first 30 minutes. I'd say that's pretty good. That's like 16 EVs an hour here. That's pretty lucky. It's a pretty good Grimer catch. Not worth submitting, but worth noting. What is 31 plus some other cool stats? Um, not bad. Someone asked, is there any place you can check like recently sold sales on the GTL? You can't view like recently sold stuff, kind of like on eBay. I know what you're talking about. Um, but you can view like the price history over some items with the, uh, there's a website called Pokemo, Pokemo Hub. You can go to like the GTL market watch type section. I've done videos overviewing that website a lot in the past. It's such a fucking cool tool. Um, being able to like have a, it's somewhat of price charting. If you're familiar with video game, like price checking stuff. Um, it's very, very cool to see. You see like graphs and information and the historical prices of certain items. Like I can check Shadow Bone Club. So I can see that like on October 30th, there was 11 Shadow Bone Clubs on the market, and it was around uh, 11 or eight, sorry, 8 mil Pokien back then. But now Shadow Bone Club has actually spiked up. There's around 30 on the market, and it's around 11 or 12 mil right now. So it spiked up like 4 mil over the past couple of months, which is pretty cool to see. You can, you can see like sort of trends like that and make better financial decisions and investments because of it, which is super, super cool. Yeah, the Shadow Bone Club is a really cool item. There's just not that many cool glove slot items or just not that many glove slot items in general. That was like the item slot to like watch out for. Like if any glove slot item vanity came out, it was like, okay, that's gonna be expensive like for a, for a while. Now there's a couple more to where it's not really the case. Um, that's kind of the case with bike skin stuff right now. There's not many bike skins at all. There's like the flaming motorcycle and the Christmas sleigh. And that's basically it. There is technically like the motorcycle and like the colored bicycles, but like who fucking really cares? Like some people want the motorcycle, but not very many. Um, it's really just the flaming motorcycle and the Christmas sleigh. But the issue is both of those are seasonal. Um, it'll be really, really interesting to see. It'll be super, super interesting to see. Um, what's it called it'll be super interesting to see what happens when they finally release one non-limited one non-seasonal sorry one limited bike skin vanity will be super cool only four christmas sleighs are even listed on the gtl thing. we're looking at around 4.6 mil and they should drop back down to like 3.8 4 mil or so once the uh once the christmas event rolls they're not, they're not in the gift shop yet right wait oh there is some seasonal stuff here but i don't think the 
I forgot I have RP from the one catch event. That's actually like the that was the best reward from that Alakazam catch event was the um winning the free a thousand RP is super nice. Like I'm essentially gonna get one free um Christmas limited vanity once it comes up, which is really exciting. Whatever whatever the gift shop entity is for this Christmas, I might pick it up. We'll see if it's actually good or not. Ten minutes, twelve minutes left in the catch event, fellas. Around twelve minutes left. Where are catch events posted on the official Pokemon forums? Uh, the official Pokemon forums are a really good source of news, updates, and information. The issue is not many people want to browse through forums. Forums are pretty like archaic nowadays. Uh, 128 is like almost good. Um, not many people check the forums, but everything is put out. A lot of most serious players do, right? Uh, most serious players do, but yeah, the forums are a really good source of information. I try to relay a lot of the information from the forums into YouTube videos. Um, I used to do a video for every single catch event, but it was just too much and it was um, yeah, a little too ridiculous, but I might want to start repicking up and like redoing uh, videos for like more exciting or interesting upcoming catch events. That might be something I look to look into in the upcoming future. We'll see what happens though. Why are egg shunts so expensive? Because you need a uh, 30,000 dittos on average, right? That's really all that's like most of the cost is just dittos. Um, if you have to breed a Pokemon 30,000 times, on average, you get a shiny, you need 30,000 dittos, which is gonna alone be like, what, 90 mil Pokeyen minimum? Usually you're buying ditto boxes for um, 200K, which ends up being um, 3,333 Pokeyen per ditto. So this times 30K ends up being around 100 mil, just in dittos. Uh, so it's around 100 million Pokeyen spent just in dittos. Usually it's like 6 million Pokeyen just for the 30,000 Pokeballs. Then you also got to buy the other Pokemon. And then if you're doing like shiny charms and donator statuses, like that gets expensive as well. Um, PC expansion drives, like it's a it's an extremely, excruciatingly expensive hunt. Um, the bulk of it being that insane amount of, of dittos. Okay, chat's been begging me to shiny hunt Sentret like so hard. So I, I'll go do that today. We'll see if we get lucky. Switch up the location. Um, it's Christmas time, which means it's a good time to shunt for Sentra. It's a way better, it's like 65% chance Sentra or whatever at that one location in Johto. So I'll come do it. It should be a fun little single encounter shunt. Sounds like good memes. Okay, I have like one minute left in the catch event. I'm just going to quick ball this. There's literally one minute left. So let's see. Yeah, plus I, have, I, have, I do have ride queue chances as well. Um, let's see if I can quick ball this and catch. There's one minute left. Master ball it. Okay. There's one minute left in the event. Let's see if this happens. Let's, oh, I might not be able to catch it now in time, which is really unfortunate. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Um, do I have time to like false swipe Spore? I'm gonna false swipe. I think I have to false swipe into Dust Ball. That's my best bet, probably. I have like 20 seconds, I feel like, to catch this. Very little time left. 1.59 p.m. I'm watching my clock. Uh, do, do, do. Dust Ball. Still says 1.59 p.m. Master Ball it. No, ah, this is gonna be fucked. I think I definitely don't catch this in time. Still says 159, but it's going to switch in a sec. Okay, it still says 159, 159 p.m. 2 p.m., there it is. I think it was late. We can check on the Mon. Let's see. One caught at 159.58 with two seconds before the event ended. Is it actually good? No, but it would have been hype if it was. So uh, that's going to be the catch event taken care of, fellas. I have nothing worth submitting. Like, I caught nothing, which is the which is the most common thing to happen. I want to preface, like, it took me 125 catch events to even win a single around. That's a huge guesstimate number, keep in mind. I've been playing for a long time since 2013. Around 125 catch events before I won a single one. Now I've won two in pretty short time frame, which is nice. Uh, so that's that makes up for the RNG for sure. But I want to preface like it's most catch events, all the Pokemon you're going to catch are going to be like between 70 and 130 IVs. And it just is, you know, pretty boring for the most part. But there's always that chance of that exciting moment. So that's why you go to catch events. You hope for that one exciting catch event where something might actually pop off. Something might happen. But today, uh, nothing. We're going to head over to Cherry Grove City, head over to the east of this, head over to Route 29, and Shiny Hunt for Single Encounter Centret. Right now, it's like a 65% chance to encounter Centret here, which is really awesome. We're going to dump this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. Do I need anything? Just Swarm, Swarm, Lore, anything else? Um, just right here. I'm on Channel 3. Should I switch? Where's, where's everybody? I know there's a lot of people here shunting. Apparently, everybody's on Channel 1. Let's see how many people. I'm, per I'm sure there's a lot of people here. There's like four, plus two more were coming, so... We got a couple, a couple shunters here at Centret, the whole crew. 
Wait, this is such a good alt account. Aben Bug. Wait, I love this. Dude, you got a good fit. Good name. Aben Bags alt account Aben Bug. That's awesome. And there's the Aben Bug shiny charm. So you know what's going to happen, Aben Bag, is if I get a shiny on the Aben Bug, you know, account, that means like I have to, you have to hop to this account all the time to start popping your charms. Because that means that this account's lucky, true and real. Here's 36k encounters, which is, in my opinion, is pretty cool. I'm very happy with that milestone. 36k, pog, 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 slowly working up the numbers. Via, like, doing that many encounters via single encounters. I've been doing a lot of single encounter shunting every day, so at least gaining like a thousand encounters per hour or something every day, which, or not per hour, fuck. You know what I'm trying to say. A thousand encounters per day, single encounter. It's like three or four hours or so of single encounter hunting. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I have a food take for the day. Okay, someone brought up Wendy's Chili. Wendy's Chili is hilarious. They sell it in cans at the grocery store now, and it's like $4 a can. It's like more expensive if you buy the grocery store versus the, the actual drive through It makes no sense. Anyways, my Wendy's story is that one time, Casey ordered a fully loaded baked potato at Wendy's, and I was like kind of teasing her about it. I was like, I can't believe you ordered the baked potato at Wendy's. I bet it takes them like 40 minutes to cook. We had to like sit in the parking lot and wait like 15 minutes for it to be ready. It costs like six dollars for a baked potato, which is very like you know cheap to make at Wendy's. Um, I memed on her, I, all this blah, blah blah blah. It came out, and I'm not joking, it was probably the best baked potato I've ever eaten in my I had one bite, and I was like, Holy shit, I was so wrong, I'm so sorry. You were correct the entire time. The potato lord. Like, I I, I was, I ate my fucking words, dude. That potato was goddamn delicious. This is actually such a good, such a, like, a wildly important question, Hector. Uh, at Pat, on shiny flips, do you compare to the species or the egg group? On shiny flips, 99.9%, .9%, almost all of the time, you should refer to egg group. You almost never want to compare shiny flips based on species because you will sit on that flip for millennia very few people are buying non-ot shinies just to own and to like have and hold 99.9 percent .9 of people maybe like 90 95 95 percent of people buying non-ot shinies are buying them to breed with their ot's to breed up the ivs um it's almost never they're buying it just for like the species to like collect very few non-OT shiny collectors exist in the game. It's a cool way to collect shinies, but it is objectively less valuable, which kind of eats away at people, which is fair. Um, OT shinies are just so much harder to get and so much more valuable. They take way more time and effort than just simply like buying. I've, I've, I've done a, a bunch of videos talking about this. If you look up uh, the Dratini equation Pokemon, I'm a huge fan of that video. Um, I think it really explains the breakdown. I have another video coming out about it in a, in a bit, but yeah. Uh, always shiny for shiny flips. I only will flip male shinies usually because that's better for breeding. I almost only flip male shinies. And then I always compare to egg group, never to species. That's a very good question. Seeing everyone flex their shinies at Route 27 makes me depressed, lol. I feel like it should make you excited. I don't know. Like, I feel like that was one of the things always talked about with like MMOs and certain games. Like seeing people with the coolest shit in games makes you want to get it. It, it, it's inspiring yeah exactly it's inspiring to be honest yeah um like seeing people with like the flaming skull masks is a huge way that people even find out about them and want them right i think seeing people with shiny charizards is a really big motivator for you to hunt your own i think yeah, i think i think like seeing people with rare shit in games should be a huge motivator for you to get that. I, think, I think it's you know it can be it can make you feel not adequate like not enough and that's kind of a good thing in this regard to where it can make you you know motivated to go hunt for them so i mean good luck to you on your shunts dude i think that's a really good middle ground that isn't talked about enough uh t sack i feel like okay collecting shiny like rare if you're the average player i think it's reasonable for the average player to want to collect rare shinies like Absol, like you mentioned, by buying them, like collecting non-OT rare shinies, I think is super fair um, via non-OT. But I think if you want, I would still go for like those like Wooper and those common shinies by time swipe hordes and stuff. But yeah, because like the average person just doesn't have, they're way too busy with their actual like real life, right? The average person doesn't have the two to 4,000 hours and 120 mil Pokey and to hunt for shiny Absol. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Like edge hunts are not meant for the average player. That's fair and known. Um, so if you want to bridge that gap by maybe paying 60 mil or something for a, for a shiny, like what's, what, is there any shiny Absols on the GTL at all? 
Probably not. Not many rares go up on the GTL, but let's see. 40, 48 mil for a secret shiny Absol is like actually so cheap. Um, don't flip that base. I could be wrong, but that seems really cheap to me, right? Like that's that's a really cool way for someone to collect their favorite shiny Pokemon non-OT. Um, if you don't want to do the insanely long hunt, I think that's reasonable and should be a little bit more encouraged. The results are in. Third place was 171. I literally like don't believe you. What? That's ridiculous. Second place was 172? This is one of the highest scoring events I've ever seen. Third place was 171. W was first place 173? That is disgusting. This is literally some of the highest like scoring catch event I've ever seen. And the winner was 173. Yeah, the Nigel. One for 170. Wow. So third, what an insane event. Third place was 171. Second place, 172. First place, 173. What a wild event. And two shinies. Yeah, that was actually a crazy, crazy, crazy event. Uh, congratulations to everybody. Wow, that's that's pretty nuts. That's crazy. Yeah, Otori said, I thought I had a shot at third place with 166. Yeah, like in most catch events, a 166 would play. Like, think about this. Like, I won the Alakazam catch event recently with a 167. Like, that's it. Like, I remember when I caught that 167, I was like, oh, I was probably like third place. And then I fucking won the whole event. I like blew my mind. Um, the catch events are just weird. Like, so sometimes you just get lucky and win with like a, it's, that's, that's just nuts. That was, what a high scoring competitive event, dude. Hey, Petrowski, favorite 2015 slash 2016 vanity? This is a great question. Uh, my answer is going to be very cringe and very different from the norm because I'm a dirty cringe hipster. Um, vampire fangs. I really want Vampire Fang. They're so dumb. I've come to really, really like these. I almost can afford them, actually. I probably... Should I buy them? Nah. Um, I've come to really, really appreciate and really enjoy those very expensive, like, very small, changing, very little pixel vanities, like the Holly Hair Club. Unironically, like, I've come around to liking those vanities because they're so ridiculous, and I, you know, have my whole Holly Hair Club situation. Um, I've come around to actually really appreciating those vanities very, you know, I don't know. I th think they're interesting. We have the third placement player and the second placement participator of the event in chat right now. That's awesome. Congrats to you guys. And Shag was one of the people who got a shiny. You got the Raticate. There was three shinies during the event. Raticate, Rattata, and Grimer, which is nuts. Congrats to everybody, man. What a crazy event. I, okay, I respect this, Logan. I think I've had times where I agree with this and times where I actually disagree. I think right now I disagree with this. Um... Can I just say it's so hard to start a shunt after you finish one and see that zero on the encounter? Dude, for whatever reason, I actually really like seeing... I like being at a lower encounter number. I feel like it's more exciting and I feel more, like, pushed to do times five hordes and stuff and, like, do... I don't know. It's uh, Versus, like... I feel like when I'm at 36k, I'm like, oh, let's just get it over with, you know? Versus when I'm at, like, 12k, I'm, like, excited to shunt. But I'm, if I'm at, you know, I'm a little dry. I'm just like, ah, oh, let's just... Come on. Let's just run it back. Let's get a new one so we can reset, you know, reset and keep going. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's maybe that's weird. That's how I feel nowadays for sure. I think for a while I was the same, but I've had, I've flip flopped on that a couple times. Oh shit, the Raikou encounter! I wasn't expecting that. That's kind of cool. Oh shit, uh, not a shiny boys, but we do get our uh, our Raikou encounter. I actually forgot I could even get that. That's kind of cool. Um, oh shit, yeah, that's at least at least something today, fellas. At least something. Um. Neato, dude. Scared the I scared the shit out of me too. I didn't. I didn't expect it or think about it. Um, now, if only it was shiny, that would be the real meme. Um, no, I, I'm happy. I, it's a, I'm appreciative. It's a good, a good little encounter. Let me go ahead and uh, fall swipe support. Should be a pretty easy catch. I'll see you guys with the IVs if I get lucky. I, I actually haven't come to a con conclusion on this, Tony Nugget. Um, do you sell your duplicate legendary dogs? This is my first duplicate. I don't know if I'll sell it or not. I actually like. I'm not sure. Um, it's not worth to hunt them just to sell. But at the same time, is it even worth the PC space to, like, hold on to them for so long? You know, like, PC space is really valuable. Um, I, I I, don't know. I don't know if I will keep it or not. I might sell it. I'm not sure. It'd be cool to see a Petrowski OT Raikou floating around the GTL. That's kind of a good meme. The way the game is, I feel like there's going to be a feature that consumes them in Game of Thrones. Dude, I've been saying that since the release. I 100% agree with you. I've been saying forever, like, since they got released, that... I'm sure they will release a legendary dog sink at some point. So there has to be. Um, yeah, I, I'm down to keep it, I guess, for the time being and see what comes around with that for sure. This is the hardest Raikou catch I've ever seen. He burned through 18 spores as well as 
like six more on my this is insane i've never seen a right maybe it's six times 31 because i've never seen a raikou catch this hard that's actually crazy is this finally gonna be the catch no wow dude i've never uh, he's a eaten up like 20 balls that's actually nuts oh remember he has pressure though okay that's actually a good true that is true so we ate up like nine half that that is okay good point nine spores and whatever many yeah fair dude but he's not catching what the fuck this is wild this is actually my blowing my mind i've never seen something i've never seen this this is crazy this is actually so crazy okay people keep backseating me and telling me to soak and netball the raikou which i'll have you know is literally less of a catch rate than me just timer balling or dream balling right now dream ball or turn ball at the right time is four times catch rate netball is 3.5 times so they're incorrectly backseating but to entertain the incorrect backseaters I'm, i soaked i'm now going to try for a netball this thing has eaten like a ridiculous amount of pokeballs it insta broke out of timer ball and dream ball if it instantly randomly catches here then okay there we go no fuck you backseater you're still wrong um dude this Raikou has been wild. I've never seen a harder legendary catch. This is actually crazy. Dude, I feel bad. How many, like, you can actually watch the VOD, check how many minutes my of shiny term I've wasted. Apparently, I've been trying to catch Raikou for 11 minutes. That's actually crazy. Pat hasn't said please yet to Raikou. Raikou, okay, I'll do it next Pokeball. That's, that's actually a good, a good backseat. Okay, with this timer ball, I'm gonna calm down. Raikou, would you please catch? I would really appreciate it, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, fuck you. I'm gonna Pokeball now for the meme. This is my 1,000th Pokeball in my uh, bag, which is kind of cool. Okay, obviously not a catch. That's fair. At some point, the price of timer balls is gonna outseed the, yeah, the burst just selling the racket. You're literally not... This is actually insane. I, this is probably the hardest Pokemon I've ever caught in Pokemo, let alone, like, legendary. Like, uh, dude, I am... I'm just baffled. This is wild. Okay, that Raikou catch was horrendous i finally caught it after i think some i think i spent like 20 minutes catching that like i wasted like 20 minutes of charm um that was ridiculous i'm so sorry to aben um what am i gonna do that's crazy that was a wildly hard catch god damn dude i ran through i had to like lepa bury my spores on two different pokemon um or through it's not it's not you know three times one guaranteed um, at least they're in good places and it's rash nature which is not you know it's, it's whatever it's a, i got my right to catch for the month done with which is nice um you know what okay that's a sign i am leaving this location that was that was a pain in the butt dude that right was horrible i'm clearly not getting a shiny here let's just let's move new spot guys no more centric i'm sorry to the centric fans clearly that's a bad omen I haven't been to Shiny Bagon in a long... Oh, this is Shiny Grottle. You don't see that very often. I haven't been to the Bagon spot in a really long time. Let's go to that, dude. I'm, I'm super down. I need my, my utility spirit tomb for that spot because if I, if I were to get a Shiny Beldum randomly, it gets... um It gets... What's it called? Um, Hate down or whatever, which can kill itself. So I'm going to go for Bagon. I haven't been to the Bagon in a while. Let's go check it out, fellas. Okay, I haven't been here in a long time. Excited to see uh, if we can get a little lucky today. Let's see what happens. What's the spirit tomb in your party do? Is that a utility mod? Actually, yes. Uh, not really that crazy. Like, it doesn't have that. You don't need that much for it to be like the utility mod. All it is is a high level ghost type mod. And that's important for shinies. Like, I bring it here specifically for like Beldum. Um, just if I were to somehow, luckily enough, encounter a shiny Beldum, it has takedown. Um, and take down those re recoil damage. So if I like run into a situation where it somehow takes enough damage or like, you know, stays alive for long enough, or maybe I false swipe it on accident or something like that, right? Having that ghost type to switch into to where it can't take down, land the damage and do recoil is like really nice. Um, having a high level ghost type is also good for like rapid ash hunts. Anything where a, a mod might be able to hit itself with recoil damage, things like take down, double edge, etc. Uh, dodging final gambit is like a must. If you're shiny hunting at um, Dragon Spiral Tower, if you run into a shiny Basculin, you need a ghost type, a high level ghost type to be able to tank those, to be able to dodge the final gambit and tank those like high level water attacks and stuff. Where are the devs going after Heart Gold, Soul Silver? I think that they plan to, from my understanding, from everything I've seen from them on the forums, they plan to 
work on end game content and work on like sort of raids or dungeons or some sort of end game PVM activity. We're just adding more features to the game itself. I don't think they plan on jumping into the next region anytime soon. It's possible that Gen 6 Plus gets added one day. I think it's very, very possible, but I don't see it happening for like at least six to 10 years, probably very, very far out in the future. Um, but maybe one day right now, I think the devs are focused on yeah, dungeons, raids, some sort of end game content, PVM content. Uh, stuff like that they did like they did like the uh the pc ui overhaul like that was semi recently like stuff like that you know quality of life stuff etc etc lots of balancing there's a lot they can do i actually totally agree with this i think adding fairy type would actually make the game way more unbalanced right now not more balanced the reason fairy type was added was because of things like Ladius, the laddie twins dropping draco meteors high dragon dropping draco meteors swords dance garchomp all the legendaries like all that stuff right we don't have those issues in pokemon garchomp can't learn learn swords dance we don't have access to the laddie twins uh, uh, Dra uh high dragon just got access access to Draco Meteor once again because Assault Vest was added to the game which also wasn't a thing at that time when dragons were super broken. Dragons are strong and they always will be, but they're not like hyper broken in Pokemon the same way they were in Gen 5 where like sand and dragon teams were like the main things. Um, we don't need fairy type. The game does not need fairy type to balance it out. Now, if you want fairy type to add to more complexity and like, that's fair, that's fine. Um, but the argument of adding fairy type would help balance out the game, I think is totally ridiculous right now. And you totally are just like comparing knowledge of traditional Pokemon to Pokemon, which once again, doesn't work. You can't take the same opinions from traditional Pokemon and compare them to Pokemon. It's a different game. There's different history, different balancing. It just it does not work like that, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. That's my, obviously all of this is just my opinions and my thoughts on, on fairy type and balancing. Um, I'm not a PVP expert by any means. I could be totally wrong. Definitely just my thoughts and opinions. Stam charm again, true and real. But thanks for popping Aben. Even Aben bug, not the lucky bug we thought it would be. That's okay. Oh, oh, that's how I break my shiny streak with a wild shiny times five horror. I didn't even sweet send. It was just a wild. Oh, dude, that was so unexpected. So weird. And, uh, it's cool. I mean, it's Solrock is a cool shiny. I'm happy about it. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm so mixed emotionally. Um, damn, that sucks. It's weird that it's at a times five horde. I've been single encountering here forever. Does it have explosion? I don't think so, but. I have a damp mon just in case. Oh man. I mean you're bound to I don't wanna I don't wanna complain. I, I'm happy I broke the streak, dude. You're bound to get so you're bound to get like how many shinies here on the way to one Bagon? Like four, I think, fails until Bagon, so it only makes sense. Damn, I didn't expect that. That's I'm like literally still um I did not expect to get a shiny today. 36,324. Oh my goodness. I like was alt tabbed out. I didn't see it. It's not a secret, right? It's not it's not a secret, which is unfortunate. Oh man. Does it have ally switch or some shit? I should actually double check on that. Um one more shiny to add to the montage of the 2023 shinies, which is kind of cool. Oh man. Weird shiny to get. I don't know how I feel about it. No ally switch, right? I saw that someone lose that recently. Embargo fine everything should be fine everything should be fine i'm gonna start leech lifing um man dude oh yeah it's, it's a cool shiny I'm, I'm happy with it i'm happy with it shiny soul rock it's it's cool looking i'm bound to get a couple um i'm gonna get obliterated by stone edges um do i wish it was secret or something since i've had such poor luck on single encounters probably yeah but i don't know I, you know i'm happy with it Ooh, heal wait heal block blocked it that's really funny i was so scared to misclick the the shiny there um it's cool it's cool i does not have explosion but it's other, oh, I'll go back to uh, zero encounters. It's cool, man. It's a. It's a new shiny. Sunshine. Yeah, it's a happy sun. It's a cute shiny. I'll take it, man. Damn, it's been a long time since I've had a Petrowski shiny. It actually feels so strange. It's a cute shiny. I'll take it, man. We take that. We take those. It's weird, yeah. It's weird that it, it's weird that it would happen with a horde. It's just so strange. Yeah, they don't, they don't have it, Auk. Um, it's just so strange. You got a Raikou and a Shiny in one stream. That is true. 
And no Gamba was today. Ah. Pat, Pat, Pat. What's up, Mist? No strats got a shiny? Oh, wait. Do we have two... We have two Team Mr. Shinies. I'm happy to try to synchronize the catch with him. That's really cool. That is... Dude, yeah, I'm down. That almost never happens. That's very unlikely that you guys, like, that two people did shine at the same time. I'm super down to try to, um, synchronize the catch. I'm not ready yet, but whenever, yeah, let, let, let him let me know, I guess. Um, that's super cool. We can try our best. That's crazy. Let me see if I can, I can fall swipe this, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I can fall swipe this. Oh, thank you, Global Chat. Two Mr. Shinies and one, yeah, one, one sec. Today is the day, no Hopium. Hey, Hopium's a good thing. Hopium's okay. Are we sinking? I'd love to. I'd love to if he doesn't mind. What did he get? Yeah, being able to try, having the chance to synchronize the catch is very cool. Did he also get Soul Rock or what, what did he get? You got a shiny cast tune. Nice. That's awesome. It's always scary to false swipe a shiny down to low HP. If, so yeah, if someone wants to do a countdown, can like Aquaze or someone in team chat do like a count like five, four, someone do five, four, three, two, one. And I think that's the way we try to synchronize. Yeah, clue. Is 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 sync ready or is no strats ready? I'm ready. Let's wait for let's wait for no strats. This is exciting, dude. Someone on my team is finding a shiny right now too. Damn, I haven't had a shiny in so long, dude. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to see the IVs. Excited to see the catch. I'm happy with it. I feel like I've been I've been dude. I've had so many like pessimistic negative reactions towards shiny recently that that's like feels like it's my default now. But no, this is a fantastic. I'm happy with this, dude. It's a really good looking shiny, honestly. Like Soul Rock is not bad. You're down. You're like you're oh, what's it called? It's just gonna you're gonna get a bunch of fails here. It's okay. Or four, you know, four on the way to Bagon. It only makes sense. Um It's a shiny man. It's a it's a what well, once again, dude. Okay, this is my this is my other issue, I guess. It's a single encounter, quote unquote single encounter shiny, but I got it via a times five horde, which that kind of sucks. Like that's the I think that's the main issue that I've had is I've done like six hundred thousand or so single encounters, right? And I've only had three single encounter shinies out of the like so many encounters. The shuckle, which was very rare to be fair. The shuckle, um, the my second one was a rapidash in a wild battle, which is another really common times five horde shiny gotten in a double wild battle, and then this soul rock in a times five horde while single encountering. It's just very funny, but I'll take it, man. I'm happy about it. I don't mean to come off too negative. I'm happy about it, but I do. I would like to see my single encounter RNG improve because it's been really, really bad. Um, I definitely won't sell it. I'm happy with it. It's a great shiny. Um, I'm just excited to see what's to come. I'm excited to start the next hunt. I'm excited to see what's to come. So we'll see. Yeah, it's a great looking color. A uh, great shiny. Um, two times 31 HP defense, brave nature. I love the prediction, Rumel. What should I'm gonna predict? Calm nature. Calm nature. Uh, I'm gonna do calm nature two or how many 31 should I predict? I'm going to do Calm Nature, 2 times 31 special attack, and special defense. I'm ready whenever. I'm ready whenever um, no strat is. Do, 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 do. I'm ready. I'll try to type. Ready. All right, let's see if we can sync it. Counting from three. I'm going to try. It's, it's really cool to be able to have a, po a two shinies card at the same exact time. Two. One. Okay, I'm going to go. I went at one instead of go. I will say I was a little early. Apologies if I don't. It's my fault if we don't sync because I went at one. One times 31 special defense. Rash. All right. It's something. Let's dig, let's dig out of here. Honestly, we go for back to back. Okay, no shiny. We've reset to zero. 
Reset the encounter to zero. Now it's at one. There we go, fellas. There we go. Let's see what happens with the next shiny, fellas. Good luck. I'll link the uh, Soul Rock in a sec. I guess, I guess I'll dig out, sure. But there we go. That's the uh, Soul Rock encounter, fellas. Thanks for watching. All right, let's go check out the new shiny, guys. Shiny Soul Rock was captured. Not what I wanted, but it's a great shiny. And you're expected to get around four. Honestly, like, okay, the IVs are actually better than I realized as well. Like, it's not bad IV-wise at all, dude. It needs HP and special attack, but like, one breed. I can also cheaply breed with another Soul Rock and make it competitive or make it usable. I mean, it's not a good comp mom, but it's fun. Um, does it have any relevant ability? It's cool, man. I'll take it. It's a great looking shiny, honestly. Like, not a bad looking shiny at all. Um, first shiny in a long time. I'll take it, man. Resets the encounter. Resets the RNG. I was saying earlier how I actually like resetting it, so it feels kind of good. Feels kind of good. Cool, cool, cool. Pog, pog, pog. Dude, I think I'm one second off from his cast tune. I'm so sorry. It's because I threw the Pokeball at one and not... I'm one second off. Fuck, because I threw it at one and not go. It was my fault. It was my fault 100%. I'm really sorry about that, dude. Uh, it's still cool. It's still pretty close, but not quite synchronized. We both got these shinies at like the same time. Congrats to uh, no strat, dude. Okay, that's kind of awesome. As requested, the shiny soul rock will be forever known as McRib. Get yours now, fellas. Sponsor me. We go again, fellas. Back to Bagon. Let's see what happens. 17 encounters, encounters strong. I feel like I might go Safari. The, you know, the only good single encounter shiny that I've ever gotten was a shiny shuckle at 106 encounters. What if I just do that again? Heck W. Do I go Johto Safari or I go Hoenn, I think. Let's go. Let's go check. I'm losing my mind. Let's just go check Shuckles and um, hunt for Apom. That's really funny. So I was just underwater. So you can see my character looks a lot darker now. This is actually a really common glitch you get. I don't, I don't know if it's like coated in. Maybe I'm supposed to be like wet. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's a glitch. Um, I'm, I carried over the same like color scheme that I had when I was dived underwater. If that makes sense. Dove, dived. Um, yeah, I'm carrying the same color scheme, but above ground now, which is funny. Like a darker, a much darker pink and stuff. Okay. For sentimental reasons, I'm going to go ahead and do my 106th encounter okay well this one didn't track god damn it most safari zone thing i'm gonna go ahead and do my 106th encounter at shuckles that's the encounter which i got my shiny shuckle let's see if history can repeat itself okay that shuckles 105 i guess the one pine code didn't count that's okay the encounter counter breaks a lot in the safari zone give me one more so i can be 106 shiny 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 sh okay no nah, that's okay close for sure all right the last encounter of the stream here it is fellas Let's see if we can get a Shalfa Ponyta. That's okay. Big day today. We participated in a catch event. We got our Raikou catch. And we broke the shiny dry streak. Definitely have mixed feelings about it. I've been saying. I'm very happy. I mean, I'm very happy. Um, Soul Rock's a great shiny. I'm happy to get it. I'm happy to work my progress into the Bagon hunt. And it's, you know, I'm bound to see four other shinies before seeing Bagon there. Whether it's... um. Soul Rock, Lunatone, Golbat, whatever. So it only makes sense. I'm a little bummed that, I, you know, 600,000 encounters or so. Still only seeing three single encounter shinies does kind of hurt. I'm hoping my single encounter rate evens out over time, but that's okay. All you can do to even out that rate is keep fucking shunting. So that's what I'm going to do. I will see you guys next week on Monday to keep fucking shunting. Make sure to like this stream if you enjoyed it. Dislike if not. Subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon videos. Follow Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. ET. Discord's down below if you're interested in that. And if you want to go above and beyond support the channel, YouTube memberships, Twitch Primes, Twitch subs, and PayPal self do help out a ton. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace, Arino. Yo, Petrowski here. Firstly, thank you so much for watching till the very end of the video. I truly hope it was worth your time today. And secondly, thanks to everybody whose name is listed here. You guys all go above and beyond and allow me to make daily content. Thanks again. Have a great day.